Hello everyone, my name is Avrita and welcome back to another episode of Trails in the Sky, the third. So, in this episode, we've defeated the big boss and we've got another stone. I think the next character we will get is Chloe and hopefully I'm right because Chloe is a very powerful character in the previous two games. Anyway, let's just get started, shall we? I'm so sorry, Kevin. I felt like your mother. But I'm so tired. I'm so, so tired. At least this way. At least this way. The two of us can. Uh, uh. That dream again. Uh, how long is it going to take before it goes away? It had to happen on Ravina's big day too. I was hoping I'll be able to stop worrying her when I get older. But it is right. I'm sure she's plenty used to you worrying her already. Uh oh, it's you, Riz. Don't scare me like that. How long have you been in here? For a while. You're supposed to be cleaning the chapel today, but you weren't getting up. They came to check on you. You screamed to be having a nightmare, duh. I thought I would wake you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Riz. I was being a pain for you again, wasn't I? No more than usual? You've been a loser since the day I met you. I didn't expect that to change anytime soon. Ouch. Take a guy while he's down. Why don't you? <laughs> well, whatever. We didn't want to be late for breakfast on Ravina's big day. So let's go and get this done. Alright. Rafina? Oh. Good morning, you two. I wasn't expecting to see you here this early. Are you on cleaning duty today? Yes, but... What are you doing up so early? You've got a long journey ahead of you. You need plenty of sleep or you're gonna be exhausted before you even get there. I mean, isn't our there get edge away from here? Well, yes. But I won't be able to offer my prayers to all these here again for quite some time. So I decided to get up early and pray for all the days I'm going to be missing too. Seriously? That's why? <laughs> That's fair of you. Are you really going to be that busy though? I thought you might be able to come home from time to time, at least. I wish I could say otherwise, but I probably will. I've only just become a squire, so there will be plenty of work in store for me. I'd be lucky to find time to sleep, never mind come home. Might be able to squeeze some time into my schedule once I've gotten the hang of the workload. But until then? Okay. And that's why you've got to sleep now while you still can. Come on! You've done enough praying for one day, so go back to bed until breakfast or something. You're so cold to me. Uh, what? How? I thought you wanted to make the most of the time you've got left with me. But it's like you don't even want me here. <gasps> Did I do a bad job at raising you? I never said I didn't want you here. You might have done a lot for me, but raising here is a stretch. It's okay, you're just embarrassed. It's actually more than happy to talk to you. You're just terrible at showing it. Oh, get over yourself. Is that so now? I should've known. You're such a typical boy, Kevin. They all act indifferent though with letting their loved one know it's just how much they care. And don't forget, he's at a rebellious age too. How have I managed to survive being twisted around your things for so long? It's trying to toy with the hearts of innocent young boys a family thing or what? <laughs> oh, I heard they say young. It's been about 5 years by now, you know? Ah, speaking of which, I think I'm starting to get craving for some chocolate. Maybe you should pick up some up on the way to the station. 
Quinsibel, of course, for obvious reasons. Oh, their new mint chocolate's my current favorite. The fresh aftertaste mixes in with the chocolate's flavor really well. I'll admit that does sound tempting, but I think I'm more in the mood for the classic milk this time. That flavor will always be a fun little trip down memory lane for me. Because of how we met. Kevin, you are disgusting. But why? <sighs> I think I'll get that warm and fuzzy feeling when you look back on it. After all, the day you came to live with us, Kevin, was the start of many, many new and wonderful memories. I treasure every single one I've made during these five years. They are all priceless to me. Then, then why did you decide to become a squire and leave us? It just doesn't seem like the right job for you. Even if you wanted to be in the church, couldn't you have become a sister at the chaplain or, some, or something? I'm sorry, Kevin. Apparently, I've just got a bit for it, or so I've been told. I feel like the best thing I can do is to make use of that and try to help people in the best way I can. Of course, that's all such as I won't be cut for it at all and will have to come home anyway. <laughs> There's no way girl as naive as you is gonna be any good at the kind of crazy tough stuff you have to do. You better come straight back home once you've had enough. Oof, really? Well, if it does come to that, I'll be expecting a nice warm welcome from the two of you. And with that, I believe this conversation has done a lovely job with having you procrastinate cleaning for long enough. Shall I lend a hand? If you are going to do your job, you might as well do it perfectly and have the whole job of sparkling. Chapter 3 Golden Road, Silver Road Alright Straight Unleashing the Stone The Lights? Hmm I wonder if the other one could be... The coin? Or Lieutenant? Oh! The board! The board got included. What just happened? Julia! Did you not leave for training exercise on board our sail? I'm sorry I left to see you safe, your highness. Uh, I see Sekwis with you too. He is, but um, I'm not quite sure what's going on. What? Haha, <laughs> long time no see. Hi Chloe! Hi, uh, I sure wasn't expecting to run into you here. What are you all doing here? Uh, oh! It's good to see you again, Chloe. And sick too, of course. You do look well. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. I feel like I should be waking up at any moment now. But I'm not sure I wouldn't want to. Time to fill up. I see. We found ourselves in the quiet predicament, haven't we? I'm relieved to hear that empty castle we found was in the real city, at least. But still, unfortunately, that doesn't necessarily rule out the real capital being in danger. We are dealing with something that has such a great power. It can create a flawless replica of a vast city. There's not only how far its influence could extend. Reese, surely there's no need to worry her so. We have nothing to gain from shying away from the truth. If anything, she's helping me better understand the gravity of the situation we are in. I'd like to help you with the investigation if I can. I'm not sure I could do much more than what you are already doing, but I won't drag you down. But your highness, I'm sorry Julia, but I'm afraid nothing you can say will change my mind. I may not fully understand the situation we are in, but I do know that it threatens the safety of our capital, perhaps the whole nation. 
I will just criticize the crown princess if I were to just stand by and do nothing. But the people I will one day rule over are certain. Wow. You're amazing, Chloe. As you wish, your highness. Well, welcome to the team. Great. I'll do what I can. So, it's our next destination that teleportation circle at the end of the sealed area. Yeah, they should let us travel to the next area. Or, by the sound of it, to the next plane. Yeah. It appears to be the technical name for the various areas that make up the land we are in. It's a concept need in this adventures too. A world is made of a number of planes or realms situated on top of one another. At the top is a sky where the gods dwells. Below is the earth where we live. And at the bottom lies Gehenna, where sinners are judged. Those are the main three, but in between them, there are countless other planes or realms too. Hmm. The in other words, the further down we descend, the less the blessing of the goddess will be able to reach us. Hey, can you not say stuff like that? With all the creepy monsters roaming around, it's freaking up around here as it is. Huh, <laughs> you sound like a child who's afraid to walk around the house when the lights are off. Although it's supposed to make sense, given that you truly are a child. I'm so not a child! Ahem, <laughs> anyway, if that fake grass was the second plane, next one's the third, right? I mean, it sounds obvious, but I'm not sure it's all going in one clear direction or if we might run into a fork at some point. I think straightforward is a safe enough assumption to make for now. And while we might not know what the Lord of Phantasma wants with us, we know it's nothing good. But even if it's not like that, that doesn't change how ugly this could get. So let's get ready for just about anything. Who knows what's waiting for us up ahead. Hmm, something wrong, Riz. If you think you might figure something out, the rest of the class would love to hear about it. Nah, it's nothing important. You're right, we should start getting ready to leave. It may be worth our while to investigate some of the doors we've encountered thus far, too. Yeah, I don't know what's up with those things, but there are sure are ton of them. At the very least, they don't seem to have been placed by any of our fools. I'm all in favor of investigating them, too. Chloe, welcome to the team. Well, first of all, I think I'm gonna get the craft points first. Oh, you guys are in here. Let's drink this. Yes. Nice. Alright, let's get into the next plane. We found a lot of doors in the second plane, but I don't think they are going to be moved anywhere. So we can just progress the story and come back later. Well, it should take us to the third plane. Funny how this world ended up being this exact spot the device to steal the Oriole was in the real world. Device? Are you referring to the first barrier you mentioned in that report? Yeah, the one decided to temporarily freeze it in another dimension of space. Although, unfortunately, the case who pulled it off, it looks like even that was enough to stop the cosmos being able to influence it. I see. We still don't know what happened to the Aurel either. There seems to be many who think that the Liber are collapsing means the Aurel itself is no more too. Which is possible, I suppose. All we really know is that judging by how Jake and Wiseman was, something unexpected happened. Beyond that, nothing. I fear Professor Wiseman may be the only one who knows the, the, the truth about exactly what happened. Although I don't have the faintest idea where he could be now, or what he's doing there. What? But, but the report said quite clearly. No one in the church is sure what happened to him, either. It's still being looked into. Still, I think it's fairly safe to say that Wiseman isn't involved in what's happening right here. If you were, I'm sure he'll be openly revealing every second of this. You all know what kind of guy he is. That's true. He doesn't really have anything to gain by wearing a mess like that, I suppose. We've got too many unanswered questions at this point, but we can at least to keep looking for answers. The less we know, the more we have to be on guard though, so we best be careful. Right, Riz? Suppose so. Oh my, I just realized how screw up I am. I didn't know there was a freaking dialogue in the freaking fountain place.
where we could restore our CP. I never even tried to restore CP in there until until this episode. My god, I miss a lot of dialogue then. I need to replay this once I beat this game. Where are we now? Something similar to the jet corridor by the look of it. Kevin, over there. Golden and silver roads. Seems like we are in heaven or some kind. A golden and silver gate. Well, this is for boarding. Again. Oh, the ghost is so in Grenzel. Visitors from afar. Bearers of the Grail's emblem. Can you hear me? Y yeah, we can. Before we start the entrance to the twin corridors, proceed through them both in sync, or never shall you reach the dark depths beyond. But in sync. I entrust their operation to the monument before you. Step forward into the corridors. The power of the grail switch you, and move onward. But beware, once you have stepped through the doors, the trail must be completed. Ah. Well, that's one question answered. That voice we have been hearing all this time was hers. Although now the next question is, who is she anyway? Whoever she is, she gave us some valuable advice on how to proceed. Step forward into the corridors. The power of the crab with you, and move onward. And as we take her up on that advice, moving in the same means we are gonna have to split up though. Or more like Chris and I have to each take a door at the same time while you guys take along with whoever. This is how I took it too. If we didn't do it the way she said, I don't think we'll be able to advance. <laughs> they sure are making it easy for us, huh? That means we are going to need to split up as two so that you guys don't go in alone. It's not the most ideal situation when there are only 4 of us and things are so dangerous, but it's what we have to do. We can just go back and grab the rest, you know? Just so? Wanna us the rest back in the garden to help us? Yes! Oh my god, Claudia, thank you for representing the player. <laughs> that's why we could form the two groups of 4, and that should hopefully be good enough for any chance up ahead. But, but that was said that Kevin and I needed to be the ones who stepped through the gates. Sure. But that's all she specified, that you and me needed to go through different ones. She didn't say anything about what these guys have to do. Plus, there's not anyone waiting for us on the other side. We could just stay help. Alright then, thank you. No problem. So, what should we do? Should we get everyone here right away? Even if we did, I wouldn't blame them if they wanted some time to prep before heading out. Especially since I've got the hunch that once we go in this gate, there's no going back out. Oh. So instead of calling them here, let's go back to them, and we'll all come here once we feel up to the challenge. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. Okay. Does that mean I need to check the doors before going into the third plane? I think that's what the game trying to tell me. I'm gonna see the equipments and the quartz before going into the one of the gates and yeah. And after that, we'll go to the one of the gates. This will take a while. Let's go to the third plane. Yep. Are exploring. So, Kevin Fardy will have Joshua, Tita, and Miller. I am gonna need Joshua and 
Kevin as a caster and Miller is needed to be the heavy hitter in the first party. The second party it will be filled with girls. I just realized that now. <laughs> the second party will be filled with girls only. So yeah, the orphans. I think I feel like I need to farm more before leaving. I guess that's it. Wish me luck. Let's go. Oh, it's reacting to us. Well, now all that's left is to we head through to the doors and see what awaits us. You ready to go, Riz? I am. Uh, Kevin. Hmm? What's up? <laughs> oh, I get it. Gonna feel all lonely without me to cuddle up against. Not a chance. It's nothing. Let's just get this over with. Yes, ma'am. Alright, time to make our way through this plane. Take us on the other side. Till then, take care. There's every chance we might find ourselves face to face with another day filter. So stay on guard and proceed cautiously. Right! Alright, who are we going to play first? I prefer we are playing as Riz. Reyes, of course. This place looks beautiful. And straight out of the bed, we are fighting. On God, everyone. Yeah, okay then. What is your weakness? Oh, space. And the little one for game is weak. It's weak to marriage. So let's take care of the big one first before the little one attack normally. Didn't do anything. Ouch! Poison. Oh, they are really tough. Oh, shut up, you. You're gonna be joking. Let's just craft. Miss! Seriously, sick? Fuck off. Oh god, we're gonna die in the first fight. Ouch. But they can cancel the freaking art. This is gonna get annoying real quick. You're going to die. I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, alright, you know what? We're going to restart this. I cannot take it when someone die in the first fight. No, no, no. Alright. Let's just try again. Let's get started with plunder. I don't know what this tail do, but let's try it. Huh? What? What? What was that for? I don't understand. Dark matter. Ascension. Risk. Let's try Thousand Sphere. Whoa! Damn! Damn! If we landed a hit on the big monster, we can deal a lot of damage. But the hardest thing is that don't let them cancel our arts. Let's use Holy Blessing for Julia. Yeah.
There we go. Nice. Bugger off, mate. Ah. So weak. Good lord. Their range is so mad. Alright, that's done. Dark matter. Let's finish this. Ascension. Ascension. Again. Oh, a lot of damage. Let's attack normally. Now, only the little one left. Fortunately, it got sealed. Haha! <laughs> we did it. What? I did not expect that. Well, there's that, I guess. Unfortunate. What were those things? They look like reapers. They look like reapers you'll find in Fairy Tail. I felt the same way. The reapers we've encountered shouldn't be able to exist, but in a different sense, neither should those fiends. This definitely isn't going to be easy. Yeah, it's definitely isn't. Look at all of this, holy hell. Man, we've got a lot of traveling to do. Huh, well, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, everyone. My name is Onita, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Personally, this is a short episode for me, because I only do some fraction and the dialogues when we met Chloe. So yeah, sorry for the lack of content. I have other plan. After I see what happened to, the, to that fight, I think I am going to prepare myself more. So that means I have to reload the save, go back to here, fight this one again, and start the next episode after that. But yeah, that's my plan. That's the reason why I'm stopping it here because I I just realized how screwed I am for being unprepared. Hopefully, the next time I come back, I am more well equipped and prepared. Anyway. Have a nice day, and see ya, goodbye.